hello friends welcome back to my channel it paribar so guys today i am going to show you how to configure uh, dc as a global catalog server as a gc server so i'll show you step by step but before going ahead i want to uh, brief something about global catalog so global catalog is a uh, uh, you can say dc uh, that holds uh, full information of its own domain and partial information of other domains it is uh, like uh, it, it's using port uh, 3268 and 3269 okay now uh, let me jump on my domain controller and uh, I'll show you how you can configure the DC as a global catalog but before going ahead here I want to request you I have a small request if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe just to motivate me just to support me let me jump on my domain controller so this is my 20 uh, 22 2022 domain controller okay on which i am going to show you how you can configure a domain controller as a uh, global catalog server okay so this is server manager and uh, once you will open the server manager you can click here on the tools and you can go to the active directory sites and services let me go here so once you'll go maybe you will see uh, the prompt like this so you have to expand subnets default for site site name and then servers if you have uh, more than one to two servers you will see here the list so i have for now i have only one uh, dc that that's name is dc you can see here computer name is dc and domain is itparivar.lan right so yeah in case of me uh, there is only one dc so you have to click here okay you can expand this or you can go here and select this one or you can expand and click here and tds settings and then you'll click and go to the properties after going to the properties you can see the option is here global catalog this is check marked i mean this is selected check box is selected right so this domain controller is uh, working as a global catalog server okay you can see here also we'll go tds setting double click uh, servers yeah if you'll go here on the servers you can say dc domain name is itpero.lan and dc type is gc okay another way is you can just simply go to the active directory users and computers and go to the domain controllers and you can see here also whatever the domain controllers you have you can uh, you can see all the list here of the domain controllers and the domain controllers type dc type so this is as a gc right so here you will see gc otherwise if that will be normal gc then you will see here gc or oh, sorry dc so let me let me change it let me go here on the properties and tds settings you can go from here also just unselect this option say yes apply and okay okay so let me refresh this page now you can see this dc type is changed to dc right so in case of you i mean if your dc is a uh, domain controller is a dc and if you want to configure uh, that dc as a global catalog server as a dc server so you have to just go to the properties from here by opening uh, active directory users and computers and going to domain controller ou and select the dc to which you want to configure as a gc or global catalog server or you can go from the active directory sites and services and you can configure from there also so from here again i'm going to show you by configuring this server as a global catalog so here just you need to select apply yes say okay and okay let me refresh this page yeah so now you can see dc type with jc so in this way guys you can configure your, your domain controller from dc to gc or you can say as a uh, global catalog server as a gc server okay so guys i hope this video will be helpful for you and uh, 
देर आर मेनी मोर वीडियोज अवेलेबल फॉर दी विंडोज सर्वर ट्वेंटी टू एंड अदर्स वीडियोज हियर ऑन माई चैनल विंडोज सर्वर रिलेटेड वीडियोज वी एम वी रिलेटेड वीडियोज ग्रुप पॉलिसी रिलेटेड वीडियोज सो यू कैन वॉच दोज वीडियोज ऑल्सो दैट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो गाइज अगेन आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that whenever i upload the new videos you will get the notification thank you bye